What's up everybody? It's probably the first time you've seen me in a while. Um, I haven't been uploading super regularly lately because, you know, life has been changing. I moved to Florida and I'm down here now where things are a little different. Um, yeah, I'm spending more time in the water. I'm enjoying it. You know, I still love herping. I'm still herping as much as I can every time I get the chance. But since it's hot down here right now and you can't do much herping when it's hot in Florida, uh, really I've just been enjoying the marine life. So I figured today I would go out and show you guys some stingrays because I was out here doing some fishing earlier and I just stumbled across a bunch of baby stingrays and I wanted to show you guys so I ran back and grabbed my camera. And if you're wondering why I'm filming on the camera and not my phone like I usually do, it's because I messed up my phone camera by diving down about 30 feet with it into a spring. And my phone is supposed to be able to go 30 feet below the surface of the water and be fine. But I guess I went below 30 feet or either it had some kind of defect because the water got into my camera and messed it up. So today I'm filming on this camera, not my phone, and I'm not complaining because I actually like how this looks. Anyway guys, I'll see you when we get there. look funny anyway I've got some stuff here I've got my camera bag my lenses I've got a cast net let me start and say I don't know what the regulations are on catching stingrays with a cast net I know you're probably not allowed to do that and keep them I don't know I don't know what the regulations are on them to begin with but I'm only catching them to photograph them and video them so just so you guys know there's no collecting going on today or anything like that but I do have this I'm gonna try to put them in here to get photos of them and some video I've done that with aquatic salamanders in the past, so that's what I'm going to try with the stingrays just to see if it'll work out if I catch some little baby ones. Alright, I'm going to wait around out there. Also, I'm going to be super gentle. I'm using the cast net, but that's only just to scoop them up long enough where I can slide my hand under them. I did it earlier and it worked. You'll just see when I get out there. Alright, so as you can see, I'm barefooted. And part of the reason I didn't put shoes on is so I can show you guys how to walk when you're in the waters where there are stingrays. Just shuffle your feet along. That way they know you're coming and you give them time to skedaddle. Because they only tend to sting people once in a while when they get stepped on directly. And I can't say that I blame them for that. Of course, it's not going to kill you if it just stabs you in the foot. But it is going to be extremely excruciatingly painful because they do have venom in their barbs. Just like a lot of other fish do. Except with them it's a bit more potent and their barbs are just like a knife. They're serrated. They cut right through your flesh if they get you. It's always a good idea to shuffle if you're in waters where you think there might be stingrays. There's one right there. Alright, this guy's probably going to bolt if I get too close. I'm going to try to show you. It's that dark spot right there. There it goes. That's not a big one by any means, but it's definitely one of the larger ones I've seen out here today. Within just a few minutes, I saw several babies and then a couple that size. So they're definitely out today in numbers. Also, what you can look for when you're looking for stingrays, you'll see these indentions in the dirt. That's where they dig down. They kind of bury themselves and they use their wings to shovel that dirt on top of them. It leaves a little crater like that. So it's a pretty good way to know if they're in the area. We've got a blue crab right here, it looks like. This crab. this crab just buried itself right here. Oh, oh, it's getting away. <laughs> okay, so you can see there was a stingray sitting right there at one point. Not anymore, but that's exactly where one was sitting. All right, took a while, but. I did actually catch a stingray. Actually caught several of them, but they're very good at escaping out of the cast net because, well, they're flat. And they can just dig right out. So I don't want to keep this guy in here any longer. I don't like him being in the net. 
I don't, I mean, I don't imagine it hurts them, but I don't want to take any chances, so I'm going to take them out, put them in this to look at for a second. Put some sand in there. Barb's actually stuck in the net. There we go. It's okay, buddy. There we go. If they swing their tail around, I mean, the part that can get you is the barb. Let me show you. Actually, we've got a good setup right here. If I can just move all this crap. Alright, so stinger is. So you can see he's got this long tail he whips around. Well the only part that can actually get you is that right there. You see that barb? If I move this you can see his barb there. That's what can sting you. That's the defense mechanism. So as long as you stay clear of that you're good. Actually it's a great place to photograph him right here because he's in this little pool. You don't even have to put him in the container which is awesome. But yeah, this is a baby. Juvenile. There were some absolutely tiny ones about that big out there. But they got away. So. Yeah. Super cool. You can see the way they breathe. Little gills are actually on the bottom. They pump water up through these right here. I'm not very well versed on my stingray anatomy. But I used to know what those were called. But someone please correct. All right, wait, 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 wait. Those breathing holes right there in the stingray, those are called spiracles. And no, I didn't have to look it up when I got home. I just remembered on the way home from making this video and it was driving me insane, so I just had to add this in there. Anyway, back to the video. Tip of my tongue, but I can't remember what those, what the openings on top are called. You can see his eye there, up on top of the head, so they can bury themselves and still see. A lot of times all you'll see sticking out is that tail, which is black a piece of seagrass, so you can't even see it. And this is a southern stingray. So there's a few different kinds out here. These are probably the most common. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. He's burying himself. That's pretty cool. So you can see that right there is how they bury themselves. They just flutter around. And just like that, they disappear. There's the tail. So if you're ever walking and you see that, you want to kind of avoid it because that is sticking up from the sand and that's what you don't want to step on. Super cool animal. You can actually see on the side here the sand moving around. See how he keeps part of his wing there folded so that he can actually pull in water with his gills and then it blows out at the top. 